Nicholas Pert wanted to be introduced as an activist living in Harlem when he came to the media and diversity event, Why Do Police Think I'm a Thug? Media Stereotypes for African American Males. Pert is no stranger to the stop and frisk policy, even though he's never been convicted of a crime. And after every time he was stopped, he would write about it. And now he's sharing his story in the New York Times, on MSNBC, NPR, and now at Iona College. A good policy, if utilized properly, is how Pert describes stop and frisk. He says the way to reconcile one of New York City's most volatile and aggressive policies starts with the community. If they connect with the community, they show respect for the community, and they give valid reasons for the stops in the community. I think um, if you know police officers are able to do that, you know we be we have a. a very much a pretty much a productive and um, healthy society. MassCom professor Tony Kelso, who organized the event, feels that stop and frisk doesn't need to be eliminated entirely, but new parameters need to be set. I think police should go should s stop people that are <laughs> that are up to no good, right? I mean, I I don't think that police should be just going up to random people walking down the street. I mean, yes, we could eliminate almost all crime if all of us were under surveillance at all times and you know all of us were always being followed but it, do we want to have a society like that do we have, I mean if you want to have a free society you have to be willing to live with a certain amount of crime and no matter which side of the issue you stand on the first step toward mutual understanding is opening those lines of communication reporting for North Avenue Nation I'm Ali Madano